we want to graph y equals the cosine of 2x minus sine x. Remember, we can think about this as y equals the cosine of 2x, and then we can also think about it as y equals minus sine of x. So what we want to do is we're going to create a t-table for each one of these so that we can graph them. So what I want you to do is I'm going to go ahead and set these up so we know what they look like, and then I want you to go and actually find the values, come back and check your answers, as well as what the graph looks like before we actually combine them together. So why don't you pause the video, go take care of that, and then come back and check your answers. So when I graph these two functions on the same graph on the left, this is what it should look like. Now hopefully your scale is way cooler than mine, but as usual, you know I'm running out of space. Um, so this is what it should resemble. Now how are we going to actually find the function that we're looking for? Well, we're actually now going to take this one minus this one, so that means we're going to add them together. So I want you to try to do that table as well, and then come back and check your answers. So here I've actually combined my um, cosine of 2x with my minus sine of x. And I get what's in green, and it's not the most appropriate color, but it helps when I'm actually looking at the graph. And so I've plotted my points, and then I've gone ahead and I've added some more on the right, so I did those calculations as well. So that's what your graph should resemble. Now, depending on how many cycles your instructor actually wants you to have, then you're going to have to actually do that as well. So make sure you do check your answers on a graphing calculator or the program that we're using online, if you have me, and or any other ways that you can do to get the correct numbers that you need.